Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. Now, we all know that emotions are inherently in all of us human beings, right? And at times, they take the center stage and we put our reasoning behind us and put our emotions ahead of us. And that is why most of us have, have made weird decisions and choices in life. Now, today, we still want to talk to you, dear viewer but now from a different angle. Benjamin has been advising you on what you need to do, how you need to date right, the strategy you need to do, dressing, all that. But now, what happens when you helplessly, helplessly find yourself loving the wrong person? What do you do? Hey, Benjamin, <laughs> this is a very weird corner. Hard place. You know, you have uh, <laughs> emphasized helplessly. Yes. Do you know why this topic became necessary is how frequently we get these questions. Yeah. But I, I cannot unlove. Cannot unlove them. You know, I love this guy. He's not available. You know, what can I do? Yeah. Uh, my emotions are... Uh, la, 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 la. Hmm. Be careful when there's something in you that is not in your control. Be careful when you have feelings in yourself. Be careful when you are crushed on a person. Be careful when you are fantasizing, imagining, <laughs> longing and hoping. <laughs> you are immature. Okay. Now you are waiting for big psychological diagnosis. <coughs> I was not expecting that, by the way. <laughs> hmm. Let that sit. You are not yet in charge of your own feelings. Mm -hmm. One, you do not understand how emotions work. So you think they have their own mind and they can go where they want and you can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> you keep talking like, unfortunately, they, land, they landed on Brahma. Mm. <laughs> you talk like emotions are independent things. Hmm? Hmm. I'll tell you these three things, and you know how they follow each other, you'll be free. Okay. Thoughts, hmm. feelings, and behavior. All right. <laughs> Thoughts are those imaginations. So you see a handsome guy, a beautiful girl, and you just imagine, oh my God. So imagine being with them, and the feelings now come up of oh, how it would feel. Then you act on the feeling. Feelings are energy. Feelings are energy, they drive you. When you yearn, when you long, you push towards something. When you feel, when you're afraid, you withdraw. When you fantasize, when you want to do something, you go for it. Mm -hmm. It starts with the thoughts. Okay. <laughs> the imagination. And now it would, you know, oh, it's so wonderful. The thoughts sparked the feeling. The feeling inspired the action. Mm -hmm. Of pursuing that person. Have you ever had a weird experience being excited about a then the feelings and die? It was a very awkward meeting. Yes. It has <laughs> happened. What had driven you <laughs> had turned back. <laughs> so you arrived alone. You know, sometimes the taxi doesn't get to where it didn't take you. <laughs> it is I don't want that traffic over there. Let me drop you here. <laughs> so you have to walk the rest of the way. Emotions sometimes turn back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to trudge on foot. <laughs> and it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So why would you be attached to a person and you feel paralyzed when you try to pull on? You just wish they can be right. You just... It happens because you fed your feelings for something that is not available. Someone who is not available. Someone is not responding. Somebody who does not feel the same about you. Let's announce the rules. You shall not swim to the deep end until you find out whether the other person wishes to swim that deep with you. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's warn women to stop shooting their shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's becoming a they feed fantasies about a man who they don't know how, what, whether he wants anything to do with this and they initiate romantic interactions. Let's go to the rules. <laughs> <laughs> it's a simple rule. When a woman initiates, she has to take control. Hmm? Yeah. 
the farthest a woman can go is to become seen by the man. Mm -hmm. Maybe drop a hint or two, but not, hey, I like you, can you date? Then he says yes. What next? You came up with the idea, you have to come up with a plan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, so now we go for a date. So now you caught me. So now you love me. So now, is that even practical? <laughs> <laughs> Women are created to be pursued. Mm -hmm. The man are created to pursue. The man is a hunter. Do not reverse the order of nature because you won't sustain it. You may start it, but you can't sustain, sustain it. it. Yeah. They keep saying, now don't sit there. If you like a guy, shoot a shot. You are the one shooting, eh? Okay, continue shooting. <laughs> you won't sustain. Exactly. You may start it, but you won't sustain mm -hmm. it. And you will have no authority to make him behave right. Yeah. You will have no authority to make him love you and you only. Mm -hmm. Many people think it's all about sex or how you do this sex. I, there's a, a very difficult TV show I had. The lady arguing there, she's the one initiated. <laughs> and she's cohabiting with her boyfriend already. She thinks that's success. Pre-25 madness, man. Yes, yeah. It was a very difficult show, man. Very difficult. Arguing with the fools who can't even appreciate a different perspective, yeah. the reality, because they are caught up in the emotions, wishful thinking. And because this is the way they are living, they don't want to admit that it might be wrong, because that's too painful, it's too fearful. They are hoping, hoping. Women can initiate romantic relationships, mm -hmm. because whatever you initiate, you have to sustain. Yeah. The farthest you can go if you like a man is to initiate interactions and you be in your colors so that he, he notices your beauty, desires and pursuits. Man can only feel welcome to pursue you. So that when he, 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 he starts it, he leads the way. Mm -hmm. If he does not lead the way, it will never work. It will tire you. You'll be the one to initiate things. And there are many men who are sexually starved and they don't mind a person who has fallen for them and free food. Low hanging food. Exactly. They'll pretend like they are also a somehow. There will always be one leg out. Mm -hmm. Well, enjoying benefit here. You become an acting capacity girlfriend. Mm -hmm. As they wait for the real one, you, you can play the role. <laughs> because <laughs> you pretend, you shot your shots. You're <laughs> <laughs> shooting your own foot. <laughs> so they're following the, the rules that you, you, you actually have free will. You have a willpower to control what to think about. Mm -hmm. The initial attraction when you meet a person and there's a crash and you begin to feel the connection, the magnets have seen each other, there's a connection, you feel the, the butterflies. Somebody said those butterflies you feel in your body is common sense living in your body. <laughs> <laughs> that flying. <laughs> common sense living. <laughs> it was such an exaggeration anyway. <laughs> you say, be careful with butterflies. <laughs> Sometimes common sense flies like butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> so, you may meet the initial attraction may be unconscious and uncontrolled. And it gives you no notice. You don't even realize when you're liking the person. Mm -hmm. It's small things, how attentive they are. And if it's the lady, how she's dressed and how she looks nice. And, you know, you can get impressed by the way the person, just like the way the air where they exist, how they carry themselves, how they talk. They might have the, the, the voice of Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. You know, she just speak publicly and men are hypnotized. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thank you for acknowledging me. Oh, my God. And men are like, <sighs> many of them. Listen, there are ladies who will slay you without a knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. There are men who will resemble your silhouette, your ideal man. <laughs> Everybody has an ideal. Yeah. And every now and then, people come as if they are sent from hell. Mm -hmm. They cross your path looking like your fantasy. <laughs> and you lose your network. <laughs> when I was searching, I went to speak in a certain uh, church. And there was a lady who looked like my fantasy. Mm -hmm. She was seated very close, uncomfortably, in view. Dressed to kill. <laughs> so, how would you talk? And I lose my sentences. <laughs> Man, there's nothing as disturbing when you are a speaker. <laughs> hey, <yeah. Brother. laughs> and now you have to try and retrace your. I, I think your mother noticed this brother is uncomfortable. <laughs> and she only the less one covered that guy. <laughs> <laughs> A drama happened there. 
other people. I don't. I, I know people resemble your ideal show up. Yes. I was careful not to greet that girl. When I finished, I hurried up and left. <laughs> I could see uh, she's not yet mature and all those kind of things. But she might resemble what you're looking for. Yeah. And because I know the initial chemistry, the initial chemistry may not be in my control, but it doesn't go anywhere if you don't feed it. This is a trick. Mm -hmm. This is the trick, Brahma. The initial crash may be out of the interactions and you never foresaw it and you, you work together, you liked how you love your jokes, how you and, and how they make you feel nice, how they, how they think. Some, of, some people are very uh, attracted to intellect. <laughs> when they meet a witty person, <laughs> <laughs> they call themselves sapiosexuals. They like intellect. Mm. So they might meet a very intellectual person. You may fall in love with the way the person thinks. Mm. Okay? Yes. Be careful. The things that impress you, there are people who possess them around. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just know that it's unfortunate, but it's yeah. true. <laughs> so, the initial attraction sometimes can be strong and unforeseen. Sometimes it happens like a surprise. When I was young, I sat next to a lady. And I started feeling attracted to her. And I can't see her face. She's just too next to each other. And you know, you can't turn on her face. We're just facing this. And you're imagining she's a beautiful girl. <laughs> then she alighted on the way. <laughs> then I'm looking through the window. <laughs> she disappeared. So that's how my crush went. <laughs> I don't know her face. You know, I met her again or anything. But uh, that time, it was, I was young. It was the first time I, be I was beginning to feel feelings of love. Mm. And, you know fantasy and you're trying to imagine so those feelings happen out of nowhere i don't know why they develop past because i was contact we are seated next to each other Pass because i seated i don't know y you know another time in high school is to spot the whole ne neighboring school to come all of it and it's only one girl i would spot <laughs> we had a neighboring school <laughs> comes to church we would share churches or games or fields and uh, why why do i keep spotting this girl there are uh, 500 of them Sometimes the crash comes out of me. It's coming from psychological and unconscious things. Mm -hmm. So please don't blame yourself when you crash on random people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to all of us. We just do decent to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Lest we should look uh, <coughs> not uh, quite <laughs> self control. <laughs> we pretend that people like to act like they're generally in charge of their life. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> generally. Uh, good morning. Uh, so this is Brahma uh, today. <laughs> if people were to speak everything they feel, you would run away. Yes. <laughs> you would think they are psycho. <laughs> Nobody has it together. Yeah. We just keep our tight ropes there. Mm -hmm. We crash on this, we don't run after them. <laughs> crash is our winner. It's whether you feed the crash. Okay. I'm taking you to how people reach that point of being helpless mm -hmm. in love. The first point is they crashed on a person. Or a person pursued you generally. Sincerely they pursued you. They made you fall in love when you not even noticed them. So for some point, some reason, you fell in love. Either on your own, unilateral crash. Be careful with unilateral crash. <laughs> <laughs> you know they got the word crash from the way they cause crash. Mm -hmm. But some people don't need a head-on crash to fall in love. Mm. They crash alone. <laughs> You are moving quietly, somebody hits you from behind. <laughs> so, sometimes you are the one alone falling in love. The right thing is to dodge, to distract yourself, to withdraw, to pull out, to stop fantasizing it. If you live that way, crashes will never become a problem for you. Never. In fact, I was taught that skill by my mom when I was young. Mm -hmm. That she told me when you go to camps, when you go to schools, there's always, there's always a girl who will impress you more than others. Yeah. That's a normal life of boys. Don't exchange numbers, don't try hugging them, don't try to start anything. You will forget her and forget whether you had not seen her. You will meet another. She told me, do nothing about it. That's no, your emotions doing gym. <laughs> <laughs> Those are emotions lifting weights. <laughs> You know, when you go where they sell motorbikes, uh, it's in a showroom. Mm. They usually ignite them to show you that it's working. Yeah. 
Are they igniting to drive? No. No. <laughs> the emotions every now and then will ignite. Hmm. Hey. To confirm that they are <laughs> working. <laughs> There's no journey today. To just uh, checking all the systems are okay. one, two testing, one, two <laughs> test. The speech has not arrived. So some of the crashes, brother, be happy your systems are still alive. In fact, you should be worried if you never crash on anyone. <laughs> be worried. <laughs> when I was doing mentorship, I observed a peculiar pattern. Mm -hmm. We had a group we were mentoring. And they were from, you know, high school all the way to graduate a group. And I noticed healthy people were always struggling with the crashes. Or healthy people. At first, we thought they are weak and sinful. Mm. Until later, we realized that person who never crashed on anyone never had any problem in discussing testimonies on how you overcame sexual temptations. <laughs> <laughs> then they are quoting the powerful verses <laughs> kill the flesh, subdue the flesh, and its desires. <laughs> they are always quoting, hey, you're wondering when I grow up. There are some people, it's not self control, it's a disability. Be careful. <laughs> Self-control means that um, the ability is around. You're keeping it under control. There's another person, the ability is absent. <laughs> There's nothing to control. <laughs> Those girls and boys who are too emotionally wounded, mm -hmm. that they could not even feel anyone, are the ones who are preaching the most fiery messages about self-control and lust. You know, the way people preach can tell you about something. Be careful. Yeah. As you listen to someone, yeah. <laughs> you need a balance of someone. So those people never gave us trouble with the crushing for boys. We came to realize later, even when the time came to date, they could not date. Mm -hmm. I saw a pattern that startled me. Self-control is important. Yes. But too much composure is not a, a sign that mm -hmm. you are self-controlled. <laughs> Bramwell, <laughs> he tickled me. <coughs> that machine does not ignite. <laughs> hey, be careful. <laughs> Self-control means you can feel the wind, but you're maintaining your stability, yeah. and you're moving, and you're moving. But that person who is totally still, is there wind, first of all? <laughs> I can't see you working. <laughs> I can't see you working. <laughs> When the time comes to fly, you will fly because now there's wind. But this one. Mm. So, don't kill yourself or crash. Now, another embarrassing thing is you will crash on taboo people. <laughs> people are forbidden. Yeah, can I mention a few? <laughs> Depending on your psychological makeup, <laughs> you could crash on embarrassing <laughs> people like your mother's age. You don't see it. So that you don't damage your reputation. <laughs> <laughs> Some people take the temptation as a, a demonic attack, so they rebuke. <coughs> Jesus! <laughs> Other people get attracted to people who are very opposite from them. Yeah. Imagine a very short boy crashing on a very big girl. A petite girl <laughs> crashing on a very tall, dark <laughs> You know? <laughs> I saw that artist who keeps doing rounds on social media. <laughs> a very big girl. Yes. Himself is very tiny. Grand peak <laughs> from Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Himself is very tiny. <laughs> so it's like his fantasy. What he wished to prove that even him, <coughs> you psychologically, I can see where he's coming from. <laughs> That's a problem of understanding some of these things. You see them everywhere. <laughs> Whenever you see extremes, okay? Mm -hmm. Extremes. <laughs> they always show you an uncontrollable, unconscious, out of control, compulsion, weakness. Mm -hmm. True love is always moderated. Yeah. You marry a person who is four times your size. <laughs> <laughs> and you differ. She does not have to beat you. She can just sit on you and you must surrender. <laughs> you just sit. Hey, so will you surrender? Hey, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, brother, 
crushing is normal and it comes from a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Your psychological makeup, your wishes. I told you over time when we were doing some election somewhere and there were the ladies there crushing on me and it was very weird. Mm -hmm. It felt bad because I'm not on, I just felt, I was happy the job was over and disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> the people keep calling you, you block them. You match their wishes, their fantasies. And instead of controlling it, they're feeding it. Mm -hmm. Once you, once you learn, and there's another thing that makes you fall in love, carelessly, crash, what you are eating. Don't eat things that ignite fire. Yeah. Please, some food that too. Mm, have you seen how the echoes of fuel are written? <laughs> Highly flammable. So keep fire away. <laughs> some food that are highly flammable. Please. <laughs> There are people who are in sexual heat throughout, throughout, because of the things they are eating. Mm -hmm. I told you of an, a weird experience I had when I, I put up with a relative for a few weeks. And I noticed the fires everywhere. You know you are not okay when you start noticing beautiful women everywhere. <laughs> Even in a group of old women. <laughs> That's how you know you are running nuts. <laughs> so I wanted to book an exorcism session. To be exorcised a few demons. <laughs> you know, there are churches that are based on exorcism only. They explain everything in terms of that. what kind of a demon is that. <laughs> this time, the demon was the food. <laughs> this relative, were, they were fond of meat, protein. They were, their food was so... That was their eating style. Mm -hmm. And it was not my style. Where I came from, we took meat once in a blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My systems were overwhelmed. Yeah. They went up in flames. <laughs> so I called my visit off <laughs> and returned to peace. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, simply check what you are eating. Yes. Many people are telling you, I'm helpless in love with this married man. What are you eating at home, by the way? Hmm. <laughs> I ask an unrelated question. <laughs> she thought she's talking love. I ask diet. <laughs> Be careful and check. Sometimes you have to, I just Googled that time. Mm -hmm. Because I noticed, ah, okay, I stopped. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. And because of your unique makeup, some foods inflame men more than women. Because of your personality. Be careful when you are extroverted and high energy. That is both a sword <laughs> with that cuts both sides. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just the way you are energetic, charismatic, the same energy, he will not turn out. <laughs> <laughs> when they want to tame an overactive bulls, what do they do? <laughs> what are they doing with the bulls' uh, private parts, surely? <laughs> Castration. <laughs> because that's where it produces testosterone. Yes. That hormone. Then when you crush it, it becomes docile. Yeah. You, you don't need to crush, you need to do what Daniel did. Those guys were eunuchs because of their main nature of job. Mm -hmm. They were made incapable. But today you can tame yourself to, by being aware. All right? Mm -hmm. So many people keep falling in love with this and the other is because there's too much instability inside, too much energies, and they keep eating the wrong things and they never exercise. Another thing is what you are feeding your mind. Some people are watching too much romance and pornography. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you are feeding your mind could make you fantasize Alejandro. Now Brahmel is Alejandro. And imagine in Alejandro and you're seeing him here. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Have you met? Sometimes there's a person who used to crush on you. meet them later, you feel ashamed. Mm -hmm. What were you seeing here? <laughs> that time, you were feeding on too much romantic fantasies. Okay. And you fill the gaps on everyone to make them beautiful. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there's another phenomenon in high school when boys and girls interacted in games. Yes. Boys came home inflamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the it was very common. <laughs> you know, yeah. when girls' schools come and the school the school bus drives in and girls are out and there's perfume in the air. Yes, boys can't stay in the class. Their mm -hmm. noses out the window, mm -hmm. crying like he got squeezed. <laughs> <laughs> Chronicles of boys' school. <laughs> Those who did not go to boys' school missed a lot of. <laughs> hey, so at night, boys are trying to relieve the pressures they built up. Yes. Be happy that mattresses don't report what they saw. <laughs> yeah. 
in the darkness you could hear strange activities <laughs> brother <laughs> when there is you know we went we would go for surrealism and when people are socializing many of them are socializing in twos it's a boy there's a girl uh, you know and then you're coming from this school where yeah? that girl school respects this school mm. or you're in the same social clique yes <laughs> the same standard yeah <laughs> and you are here to school the rest of these commoners <laughs> 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 you know you're bragging rights because here you're senior <laughs> <laughs> so the other senior school <laughs> you're mingling and this excitement that excitement is genuine and mm -hmm. i i've always encouraged you not to take your don't try to let your children socially. Let them mingle, but only teach them where the boundaries are. Yeah. So the first problem is that you're too much inflamed because of what you're getting into your system, the food you're eating, the things you are doing. The other thing is you, you feed the fantasy with the hopes, with the expectations. In fact, you start planning, doing, behaving, trying to make that fantasy a reality. You crash on Brahma, you start acting. You crash on that girl, you start buying her gifts, inviting her out, chatting her. Mm -hmm. Those things now, they inflame. I told you about the progression. Thoughts, feelings, actions. The first is the thoughts are imaginations, the fantasies, they, they work up the emotions. Mm -hmm. And we say the emotions could be too abundant because of the elements, what you bring into your system. Yeah. And they could be too abundant because of the kind of things you're feeding in your system. The radio shows you listen. The things you watch online, the things you do, you know. I told you in campus I was very careful not to touch ladies' bodies too much mm. because I knew myself. Yeah. <laughs> Put some measures that control your unique nature, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Put the height of fence according to how high your dogs can jump, okay? <laughs> know your dogs and the length of the leash <laughs> you are going to put, okay? Mm -hmm. Tame your horses according to their capabilities. This life, a lot of, a lot of your safety and peace in this life will depend on mastering your peculiar tendencies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't explain to people why you are putting a high fence. <laughs> you know, your internal struggles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Instead of having to run <laughs> after a, a, a runaway dog or horse, just make sure it doesn't get out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Yeah. It takes us so long, Brahman, to land. David never landed. The God away man costed him. Samson never landed. God away cost him. Joseph landed, ran away, escaped. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Imagine the pattern. Amnon never learned how to control the crash on Tama, fed it with advice from a wicked cousin, killed him. Brother, brother, what you're saying here is a matter of life and death. So when you start now acting, pursuing the girl or pursuing, imagining, it, it strengthens the feelings now, the, the thoughts now to make them plans, strategies, the dreams together. You start concretizing the possibilities. Yeah. That's the problem. You start making them concrete. All right? Mm -hmm. The solution. Sometimes if you are really dating, let's say you are in such a process. Mm -hmm. When you see a person whom you like, the best thing is to evaluate the viability of your hopes. By asking the girl as soon as you can. By talking to the guy as soon as you may be embarrassed. Feel like he is already married. He is not available. Mm -hmm. He is not as good as you thought. You know when you go to church and ladies are leading us in songs, their beauty is on display. Your emotions could attach to them. <laughs> Imagine you are trying to go to God and you, you are going <laughs> to the flesh. <laughs> You are to see what people are thinking, <laughs> even in church. <laughs> yeah. You know, some brothers yeah. were praying for a lady, and there are many of them. Then the lady fell, and the cloth came up, <laughs> exposed. And then one brother left the prayer guru to go and repent near the wall. Father, forgive me. You we were praying here. Why is he repenting? <laughs> By just seeing he has already fallen. <laughs> so the lady fell, and the guy also fell. <laughs> <laughs> she fell physically, this man fell mentally. <laughs> okay? Yeah. You need, one of the things I want you to understand is, you're going to be meeting, be in church, wherever. Triggers that to be play on your temptations. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Don't feed it. Finally, third step. If you're already hooked, addicted, it, it could be because 
This person, this yearning, this wish, this hope fulfills an impossible dream you had. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's the happy, it's a happy make-believe dream you live in. A make-believe that we, do you know teenagers, the problem with young people in pre-25 is that they project on you what they wished. They don't take time to learn who you are. Because of their immaturity, they, f they idealize you so they can experience you the way they wanted to experience their lover. Mm -hmm. We're checking who you really are. That's why the heartbreaks of uh, pre-25 marriages, are sh uh, of uh, pre-25 crashes are shattering. Yeah. Because they are not based on who that person is. Mm -hmm. They were elevated all the way to heaven. <laughs> you see each other as angels. When the reality crashed, the crash was so big because it was unreal. Mm -hmm. If it was measured, the crash would have been just moderate because you knew anyway this was possible. I told you about that 21 year old was telling me, I'm dating this guy, we have 95% chances of success. Idealizing, do you see it? Yeah. She has already calculated 95. And why are you asking me if the relationship has so much hopes? Why are we here? Because she knows, she's just projecting. Mm -hmm. She was slightly aware. I think by listening to my message, she began to suspect. She might be leaving. You heard of the high now asked the ego to take him up there to eat that meat. You thought the clouds were meat. Yes. The ego struck a deal. I'll take you, but I will not bring you back. Mm -hmm. Okay, me, I want to stay there living in it. So they re please jump out. He jumped out and he crashed. People climb up there thinking the clouds are meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave yeah. it to crash back. If you're already hooked, realize it could be meeting another another gap in your psychological makeup. Mm -hmm. And met father need, mother need, father hunger, desire for love. Go solve that problem on its own because this person can never be who you're fantasizing them to be. Mm -hmm. If you realize you keep falling for older people, it's because you have another father hunger, mother hunger. You need therapy. Mm -hmm. All right? Let's repeat. You fall for people unintentionally, you begin to like them. Don't feed the liking, don't feed the don't feed it. It'll just mm -hmm. die on its own. To me, that's our way. These things only really survive when you feed them. Another thing you can dodge, take your money to other people. This one usually falls away. These are not relationships, you simply start talking to other people. Mm -hmm. Stop chatting, stop feeding it. So once you realize it, you started picking momentum, picking momentum. How to slow it down? You don't have to insult the person or do anything. So remove the emotions from there. These things which die on their own. And we said, check what you're feeding your system. Sometimes the fire is being found by the fire, the fuel you are, you are yeah. keeping in. Mm -hmm. But if you realize you are hooked on this person, you may be already involved sexually and all that. Seek therapy, seek the help of a friend. The hook could have roots because we had done a pre-existing need. Wow. Yes. I love that. You've really, really expounded very well, Benjamin. Benjamin, truth be told, the reason as to why most people are single is because the character they love is not in the body they desire. <laughs> very good. <laughs> a very <laughs> unfortunate dissonance. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Yes. I go back to the fantasies again. Exactly. Benjamin, how do I know that I'm the one funding my fantasies? What, learn to get outside your skin and hear what the other person is saying. Yeah. Observe their behavior. Okay? Yeah. Also, check whether you're the one sustaining the relationship. If you're always the one to call first, check first, show interest, get out there, put out effort, you are alone. Yeah. When the interest is equal, when the interest is mutual, the, the effort will be equal. equal. If they also like you, they will put your effort. Yeah. This does not mean the first time you approach a girl, she should also put your effort. I'm mm -hmm. saying once you have agreed to start dating, the, mm -hmm. the original pursuit is yours alone. You're the proposer. But once you've agreed to be in a relationship, you expect both of you to be checking on each other equally. Mm -hmm. So one way to know you're alone is you're always the initiator. The effort is always from your side. Mm -hmm. The other way to know you're alone is when, when there's no concrete plans for the future. When the person keeps postponing, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. There's too tentative. Mm -hmm. Delay, delaying to decide and commit is also a sign that people are not sure about you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, <coughs> we fantasize a lot. As you said, everybody has this ideal person. And it always begins from the fantasy. You see, I want to have this kind of a man. Is it okay if I go for the one that I'm, I've been fantasizing about and then try to make things of course before you marry a person make sure you imagine them. make sure you long there's chemistry yeah. the difference between healthy chemistry mm -hmm. and unhealthy chemistry is the timing are you ready and are they available both of you mm -hmm. are we together yeah 
Some of the crushes you have could have been good potential relationships if the timing was right. Mm -hmm. But you're saying when you keep desiring a person who is not available, the timing is wrong, all right? Yeah. So if you're in the searching process and you've liked this lady, you will think, come close, interact as friends, have a conversation, talk on phone, find a way to know where are they in life. Mm -hmm. Do they find you equally amazing? We together. Mm -hmm. If you're searching, go for it. But if they are already married, or you, you are not ready, or something, timing is off, my friend, chalk that thing off. You feed it, it will carry you to the wrong direction. All right. <laughs> I just love this Benjamin. Honestly, he knows how to, to to actually chew some of these things on our behalf. Your work is just to swallow. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the Benjamin Zulu Show. Till next time. <laughs>